Hey there, Aureli here from WithHisGifts.com. Welcome and thank you for stopping by. Today I have another video tutorial for you and we are going to create this lovely card. So let's go ahead and get started. For our stamp set, we're using the Painted Harvest and we're actually gonna use the bundle so we'll be using the Leaf Punch as well. We'll be using the Stitched Shapes Framelits dies along with the layered leaves um, embossing folder. For our ink colors, we're using Smoky Slate, Cherry Cobbler, and the basic black archival ink. Okay, for our paper, I have a piece of the Smoky Slate here for my card base, and that is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, and we'll be folding that at um, four and a quarter. Another piece of the Smoky Slate cut at four by five and a quarter, I have a piece of the Whisper Whisper White also cut at four by five and a quarter. Then I have some scrap pieces of Whisper White here. Um, this is three and a quarter by three and a quarter, I believe. Two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And I believe this is one and a half by maybe two and three quarters. Um, scrap pieces is what we need for this. Then I have a piece of the Silver Foil, also scrap piece. This one measures um, three and a half by two and a half. So three and a half by two and a half. Um, I have a delicate doily and a piece of the silver metallic edge ribbon about seven inches. Some of the other things that we will be using today are um, scotch tape, um, our snail adhesive, fast fuse, Glue dots, stamp and dimensionals. We will be using our fine tip glue pen, paper snips, and bone folder. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with our big shot. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. And I'm using my magnetic plate, my first um, acrylic plate. I'm going to use the bigger of the scrap pieces and the Whisper White. I believe that was three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then the largest stitched circle from the stitched shape um, framelits. Let me move this because it's jumping around on me. Okay, that looks like it's going to stay put. And I believe that's all we need. Um, to cut with our big shot. So we're going to go ahead and roll that through. Okay. Then we're going to grab our smaller of the smoky slate. Okay. And we're going to put that in our layered leaves embossing folder. We're going to switch out our base, our Big Shot base, um, for the the one that is for embossing, as soon as I get that straight. So we have that platform here. And because this is a dynamic um, embossing folder, it is much thicker than a regular embossing folder, so you only need one acrylic plate. So you will put the folder down on your base and then one acrylic plate. plate on top of it, run that through, and you will have a beautiful embossed piece of paper. There we go. All right, so we are done with the big shot. Let me get that out of the way. Okay, so next we want to get um, our stamping done. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the, um, the four by five and a quarter Whisper White paper, and then the two remaining scraps of the Whisper White paper. All right, we're going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and grab my piercing mat. And I'm going to put a piece of paper on my piercing mat just so it doesn't get dirty on me, okay? So let's start with this, this little two and three quarter by two and three quarter um, piece of paper. And our cherry cobbler. Let's open that up and get it ready. And our smoky slate. Okay. And 
I'm going to show you. We're going to use this stamp here, the stamp here, and the stamp here, okay? And I'm going to start with my bigger of the two. And um, the arrows on my stamps, just in case you're wondering, um, when you look at your stamps, let me get this white behind it, but when you look at your stamps, um, the little sheet that they're mounted on here, you'll notice these little arrows here. Um, they kind of help guide the direction that you should stamp because this is um, layered stamping, one step, two step, three step. So kind of helps you um, to stamp in the right direction. And I transferred that because once you put it on your block, you're like, okay, which way was up again? Um, it's not obvious to me. So I kind of um, put my arrow on my stamp. But I do that a lot with stamps that I need help <laughs> with um, which direction to stamp in. Um, but I found that with this stamp set, I'm not really using it so much. So there's that. I don't really use it that much. So anyways, in case you were wondering what those arrows were, now you know. So my larger of the two sunflowers, I'm inking up in my cherry cobbler. Okay. And I'm just going to stamp this right in the middle because we are going to fussy cut this puppy out. Okay. Like that. Then the smaller of the sunflowers I'm also inking up in the cherry cobbler. Now, we don't need to stamp off with this unless you want a super lighter um, layer on the bottom because the stamp set is designed to be darker. This one will be darker automatically than, than this one is. So you don't really need to stamp off. And you'll see in a second what I mean. There we go. So you see how that added depth without us having to stamp off. You don't really need to stamp off um, at all. Unless you want to. Then go ahead, right? <laughs> okay, so now I have my center and I'm stamping or inking that up in my smoky slate. Uh oh, that was my phone. And I'm gonna go right down in the middle here. And I'm going to stamp this a couple of times just so I can get a little bit um, darker. I didn't want to go as dark as the basic gray, but a little bit darker than the smoky slate. So hitting it twice um, does the trick, okay? All right, so there's that. We're gonna set this aside. We're gonna fussy cut that. While I'm at it, I am going to get the, the smaller piece of the scrap Whisper White, and I'm going to Grab this here, the I am thankful for you. And I'm going to ink that up in my basic black. Okay. So I'm going to grab that. And with the basic black, it's not the, the foam of the other ink pads. So you kind of have to twist. You usually don't have to twist, but if you want full coverage, you kind of have to twist and make sure that you have the full coverage. And we're going to stamp this down like this. We'll be cutting this out so it doesn't matter if it's not centered. Okay, that is perfect. We're going to set that aside. That is done. We're done with the basic black and I closed up the other two but I need them so I'm going to open those back up because the last piece of the Whisper White which is the four by five and a quarter will be the inside of our card. Okay, same way we did the other sunflower that we just did. So I'm going to grab and stamp right in the corner my first and then again in the cherry cobbler my second layer and then my center and the smoky slate. Okay so there's one and there is two. Alrighty, so now we are done with all the ink. Okay. 
Okay, so we can put all of that away. Get all of this out of our way. All right, get that right there. And then we're gonna fussy cut this one out. Okay, and I will kind of speed up a little bit here, but just a couple of tips. Um, you're not looking for perfection. If you cut a petal away, then it wasn't meant to be. Um, just keep going. We are just wanting a jagged edge around our flower. Okay, so just like that, that is done. The next thing we're going to cut is... We're going to cut this away. So I am cutting above the thankful. Um, I'm going to cut away the I am. We are not using those words in our, on our card. Okay. So we'll set that aside. And then we will keep cutting. We're going to fussy cut the thankful. And again, we're not looking for perfection by all means. Just cut around. Okay. All right. Now, when we get down here, we will be using the For You. So be careful because um, they're really close quarters right about here. So just carefully cut that out for now right there. Uh oh, I have some people home. I may have to pause the video because I have four little boys coming in and it's not going to be quiet. They never come home quietly. Okay, so I may have to pause this. I hear them in the driveway. The dogs are barking because they know their play buddies are home. Okay. So there's my thankful, okay, and then my for you. There's the door. Okay, I have nine-year-old twins that are seven and a six-year-old. So it's not going to be quiet. But anyways, I cut this away here. That's all the cutting that we have to do for this card. Now it's just a matter of assembling it. We do have to punch, though. We do, we're going to use our leaf punch really, really quick. And grab our silver foil sheet. And we want three of these. So we're going to cut these out. It's eerily quiet. They're in the house. So I don't know. Uh oh. There it goes. There it goes. All right. So we're pausing for one second. Hi, honey. I'm filming a video. <laughs> oh. I'll be back. Okay. So I'm back. Um, because there's no containing the excitement of four little boys. So, um, I had to share in that excitement. I pause the video, but I'm back and let's go ahead and finish this card up. So I have cut um, all the pieces that we need. Okay, so that is everything. I'm going to set this aside. I'm going to go ahead and grab my card base. All right, I'm going to go ahead and fold that in half. Okay, with my bone folder. I'll go ahead and crease that okay and then here I'm going to flip this over okay sorry I had to check that and um, with some dimensionals I am going to put some on the back of this because I want to pop up my layer we are tone on tone so I want to give it a little bit of dimension in between Okay, that's good. Um, if you have some foam tape, I ran out. I usually have um, some for popping up my panels, um, but I ran out. Um, Stampin' Up! also has the little strips 
um, used for shaker cards. Okay, sorry, there's one there. But Stampin' Up! has the strips that you, we use for shaker cards, and I also ran out of those. So dimensional as it is, because it works, right? All right, I'm mounting that right in the middle. Okay, my door is opening up again. Just like that. Oh, you know what I did? And I always do this, always do this. Um, I did not put my, let's see, the distraction, my a ribbon. So I may need to rethink this because I need to go behind it. So, hey, there you go. That's what happens when you get distracted, right? You forget things. And it doesn't take much for me to forget, that's for sure. But anyways, we're good. We're good. We're going to put that down the center and grab some scotch tape. Just like that, okay? Alrighty. Then, let's get one side straight. Flip it over. Okay. And that down with some scotch tape. Then let's bring that across nice and straight and put some scotch tape down on that side. Now we will try that again with our dimensionals that are intact. That. All right. So now we are going to grab our stitched circle and doily. And I am going to grab my fast fuse and put it on my circle. Okay, then I will mount that on centering it onto my doily, like so. Okay, and then we will flip that over and grab my snail. Fast fuse and delicate doilies do not play nice, so I'm just getting some snail adhesive on here instead. And then I'm going to set that off to the left a little bit, exposing just a little bit of the ribbon on the left-hand side, but just a little bit, okay? So there's that. So the next thing that we want to do is grab our glue dots, okay? And our silver foil leaves. And I'm going to put a glue dot right um, where the three meet, right there. Okay, and just as an FYI, my most recent class in the mail was um, using this um, bundle, and this is actually one of the designs. Um, we used some different colors in my class, and um, but yeah, other than that, this is what you get um, when you um, pre-order my classes, so I thought I would share that with you. Okay, so anyways, back to the card. I'm going to place these kind of, sort of, right where I want them, right there. Like so. Okay. And I know where I want them because I've already made this card. So that's kind of easy for me. Then I'm going to put a couple of dimensionals back here. Alright, like so. And take the backing off, like so. And then I'm going to mount this right there. All right. I'm going to grab my fine tip glue pen. And then I'm going to take my little thankful. And I'm just going to put some dots of glue behind it. Like so. Okay. Then I'm going to pick it up. Oopsie. I'm going to pick it up. Turn it around. And then I'm going to put my thankful. I'm going to put it on top of um, my circle and doily. And then onto my ribbon. And hold it down for a second. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same with the glue for the For You 
totes. That was a lot of glue. We'll spread it around. Just some little dots, okay? Pick it up. Flip it around. And we're going to put that down right under the ribbon. A little bit. Right out there, okay? And then we'll press down. And there you go. And now for the inside. I don't usually do the inside, but I love this stamp set and I just can't stop stamping this sunflower. So there's what we stamped earlier. I'm flipping it over and putting some of my fast fuse on the back. Okay. And we're going to open this beautiful card up. And we shall put that in there. There you go. So there's the inside of your card. And there's the outside of your card. And there you have it. Super duper easy. Super duper quick. And super duper elegant. If you want to make these gorgeous cards at home make sure to jot down the supply list down below then head on over to my website at withhisgifts.com and place your order today so you can make these beautiful cards at home and if you don't already have a stampin up demonstrator i would love the opportunity to earn your business visit me at my website at withhisgifts.com and check out what i'm all about and hit me up with any questions that you have. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please leave me a comment down below, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, thank you for stopping by and have a great day.